Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. Are you convinced every single time you turn on your computer that an airport moved in next door? Well, we're gonna try an inexpensive little trick to hopefully alleviate some of those audible pains. Well done. A lot of people like really quiet running computers, and while I'm a huge proponent of making sure you get the highest performing parts you can afford instead of necessarily the most aesthetically pleasing ones or the quietest, if you're willing to do a little bit of DIY, it might be worth it in order to make sure your computer runs quieter. What got me thinking about this is Josh, our video editor, has a Define R4 computer case, which is a very quiet computer case and it has some foam padding to help alleviate some of the audio noise. My case, though I love it so, is actually very bad for acoustical performance. It has a very tinny feel to it and it doesn't really do anything to stop the noise level. So what I intend to do is kind of copy the Define R4's theme and install some Silly Winks foam. Silly Winks is actually just the brand, but um, I picked up this foam at a hobby store. It's very thin, but extremely dense, so hopefully we can maintain all of our cable management and space while getting some foam in our case in order to alleviate some of that echoey tinny noise that comes out of it. I also intend to install the Dark Rock Pro 3 CPU cooler that you see on the desk. I am doing that for two reasons. One, I kind of want to switch to air cooling. I'm not really all that interested in liquid cooling for my own personal rig. And second, the screw holes for the radiator on my H80i are starting to waller out to where the point where they're not tightening up and I'm afraid that it might fall off in my computer and damage some of the components on the inside. First, we need to determine our baseline noise level. Then we need to measure each noise level after each mod so we can determine which component gives you the best performance per dollar. In addition to our personal perception of how well the performance of each component is, we're also going to set our camera mic right next to the computer and measure the decibel levels during a stress test each time we test our computer in order to give you guys an actual tangible reading of what our performance gains are. We have our baseline decibel test done and now let's start our phone mod. As always, first step, pull off all your side panels and grab you some compressed air to clean out your computer with. Okay, our next step, we are going to be cutting out our foam for our side panels. Now, on my windowed side panel, I'm obviously not gonna wanna cover up my window, but I am gonna want to fill in these little sides here as much as possible. And on my back panel, I am going to pretty much be filling up this entire back area in order to help with the noise dampening. Um, and then I am going to be cutting out along the front around my fans along here along the bottom in order to, and I'm actually gonna put the foam on the inside, but I'm gonna measure it, I'm gonna cut it out around here in order to get an easier way to measure it. And I'm also going to be putting some foam up here in this little spot where there is no fan. Um, I'll probably run a strip along here, also on the inside where there's no fan. And then um, along the bottom here, and I may even get crazy and put some over my power supply, we'll see how ambitious I am today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is our first step, we're gonna do our back cover. We're gonna just take a full sheet and we're going to cut off the edge right here. There's no measuring required at this point. With a razor, we're gonna cut with a razor. This isn't gonna be like an exact science. If that's what you're looking for, go to a different channel. This is just like matte science. And actually, now that I think about it, is this gonna, I should have done it that way. Stupid me, oh well. What I did was I got one piece for each side. Now I'm clearly not gonna use a full piece for the top, I'm not gonna use a full piece for the front, I'm not gonna use a full piece for the back or the bottom. I am going to use more than one piece for each side though. So, or at least this one side. It's just to cover your butt to make sure you have enough material. You can probably get by with less if you do measurements before you go to the store and pick up your foam but this is what I chose to do. So it's just an option that you have. Here's my second piece. Shoot, this is dumb, this is really dumb. By the way, if you care about the inside of your panel, I may suggest that you not do this on the 
your side panel because I just got two nice big fat scrape marks on the inside of my panel. Instead, I'm going to be cutting into my desktop. Much better, but yeah, here we go. Oh, that's a beautiful scratch mark. I can't wait till we can have more of those. Like what? Do you have a big block of wood? If I had brought a cutting board, we could do that. Okay, I have cut my two pieces for my back panel and I have purchased two different kinds of tape because I don't know which one's best. I didn't choose glue just in case I want to remove it. I don't want to have glue on the inside of my case, but I have double-sided tape, removable, and I have removable poster tape. So we're going to figure out which one works best. Next step is you just flip it, lay it down and apply pressure. It's not very sticky. All right, let's see how well it sticks. All right, well, it's not falling off, so that's a good sign. Here's your end result. Something I want to note, if you have this kind of case where all the cable management is in the back, this cut out, this indent in the back of your back panel is designed to allow for extra space for cable management. You are filling it up with foam by doing this mod, so you have to have good cable management in order to accommodate the foam. I hope mine is good enough. I don't know. We will find out. All right. Ooh, that is, it is a tight fit. Mm. I'm not sure this is gonna work. Okay, that is, let me put it this way. The case really doesn't like it. But you can see, if you look inside the case here, there's that nice foam in there. And it doesn't look like it's out of place. It looks like it belongs there. Okay, next we're gonna do our windowed panel. With this particular case, you can use some of your used piece of foam and cut out little strips to go along. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna cut on the side of the panel, unfortunately, but I think that that will be fine. Oh wow, scissors do a much better job of cutting this. Maybe I should have thought of that. <laughs> I am trying out the Scotch removable poster tape and it seems to be a little bit more tacky and a little bit more industrial. So I'm using this specifically for, well that's not very convincing, but I'm using this for this top piece because this is a mesh piece I'm trying to stick it to. So hopefully this holds a little bit better. Okay, I'm not convinced this is actually any better. I was, but now I'm not. So I was trying to cut out the foam for the front here by marking it with a pen and then I realized the fans are actually leaving a nice indent. So what I'm gonna do is just center it, press it, so that the fans make their nice indent so I know where to make my cuts. And there you go. Okay. So we just installed all of our foam and we're booting up so we can run our stress test so we can find out what decibel level we're running at. All right, we concluded that test. Let's move on to the CPU cooler installation. Here is the Dark Rock Pro 3 that I hope fits. And it kind of has to now because my fears about my radiator came true. The uh, the mounts for the radiator, the screw holes, ended up failing as I was trying, starting to remove it. So, but hopefully this thing performs just as well and is quieter. So as you can see here, this is the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3. The moment of truth, the installation, I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh my gosh. That came out. Fine, 
for reapplying and I'm gonna use the thermal paste that came with the CPU cooler because that looks like really terrible thermal paste. It doesn't look much better, but anyway. Because of the way the CPU cooler is made, there is literally no way I can get it in without pulling out my motherboard. So, I am going to be removing my motherboard. And this, by the way guys, is when having good cable management comes in very handy. If you have poor cable management, it would take forever to get your motherboard out through all the cables. But, because I have really good cable management in this case, I just have to disconnect a few things, unscrew the motherboard, and pull it out. This is still going to be difficult, even with the motherboard out. On the other hand, if you do choose to put the CPU cooler on outside of your case, it creates an outstandingly good handle for you to lay it in to your case with. So the results are in, and we saw a very minute performance increase. Um, with the foam, we saw our decibel reading go down by three decibels, and adding the CPU cooler, it actually went up from there by two. What we can draw from this is adding the foam does improve acoustic performance a little bit. Um, and going from liquid cooling to air cooling probably helps a little bit too. However, the results don't reflect that because we ended up adding a fan. So if you were to actually stick with the same number of fans in your case, you probably would see a notable performance increase with a air cooler versus liquid cooler. Additionally, if you decide to get one of these Be Quiet coolers, these uh, Rock Pro 3s or Pro Rock 3s, whatever it is, if you decide to get one of those, I highly, 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 highly suggest installing it outside of the case. Remove the motherboard, install it, you're gonna save yourself a whole lot of headache. As far as what we perceived, we didn't perceive a notable difference across the board. However, when we were running the tests, we had our fan speeds at full, and when it's at idle, with the fan speeds all the way down on our fan controller, you, there is actually a notable decrease in noise level going from no foam to having foam to having foam and air cooling. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and leave a comment if there's anything in particular you'd like us to cover in the future.